choosing the right processor for achieving good balance between performance and price is tricky task in recent times, especially when you are on strict budget. For the first time, Intel provides a true quad core CPU for the budget segment users in the form of i5-6400, which is the least priced i5 model based on Skylake architecture and it is priced marginally higher than i3 variants. In this video, I will find out if there is any significant advantage in the clock deficiency i5-6400 over frequency rich i3-6100. Both the chips are based on Intel Skylake architecture built using 14 nanometer process. Both models can handle 4 threads at the same time. i3-6100 is only a dual core CPU built with two physical cores and with the help of Intel's hyperthreading technology, it features two additional logical cores that gives us four threads combined. Whereas i5 is a true quad core CPU with four cores on the chip. i3-6100 has high base frequency of 3.7 GHz. Rather, i5 has 2.7 GHz base clock, a complete 1 GHz clock deficiency over the i3. But it uses Turbo Boost technology to self overclock two of its cores to a maximum speed of 3.3 GHz and operates all cores at 3.1 GHz when under full load. With this method, 6400 achieves 400 MHz gain but still lacks with 600 MHz over the 6100. Turbo Boost is not used in all i3 models. i3 packs 3 MB cache memory and i5 just double of that. 6100 consumes less power than the 6400. Both have similar aspect for the memory support and bandwidth. Strangely, this i3 variant has support for ECC RAM which is lacking in 6400. Both models have inbuilt HD530 graphics with i3 clocking 100 megahertz more in the core frequency than the i5. 6400 chip has better maximum thermal limit. Each model has taken advantage of using different technologies to compensate their deficiencies. As I said earlier, i5 used Turbo Boost to self overclock each cores based on demand and i3 gets two additional logical cores with the use of hyperthreading technology. You can see the i3-6100 is operating at full 3700 MHz under various loads. An i5-6400 hovers around 3.3 GHz for two cores and 3.1 GHz for all cores on demanding tasks. Before moving on to the benchmark results, check my computer configuration used for this test in the description column below. CPU-Z includes an inbuilt benchmark for testing single and multi-thread performance. 6400 single-thread performance is hampered by its low clock speed but still exhibits superior scores in multi-core test. Next with W prime that performs complex calculations utilizing all the cores to the maximum speed. I fail leads here. Again, quad core i5 wins here with all the cores being utilized in Cinebench release 15. Even graphic performance is increased by 4 FPS. A folder of picture files with total size of 189 MB is compressed using WinRAR. Here, both CPUs consumed same amount of time. Most compression software is based on single thread performance and i3 is slightly ahead of 6400 so no surprises here. A 1080p video file of 1.4 GB in size is converted from AVA to MKB format using Anbrake software and time taken for conversion is recorded here. Core i5 is comfortably better with the advantage of 4 cores and larger cache memory.
the old Fermat still helps in evaluating single thread performance of CPU in graphical use. Here both models produced similar average FPS but minimum frame rate is less than i5 due to its low clock speed. So which one will I choose? The 4 core benefits of i5-6400 are much evident in multi-core demanding applications but comes at the expense of single thread performance. The handbrake video encoding tests show the benefits of multi-core CPUs. If your work involves mainly CPU intensive tasks like video music editing or conversion and if every second saved counts to you then i5-6400 makes sense in such scenarios. But the speed difference is not going to be that big in this case unlike other higher priced i5 models like 6600. The lack of single core speed was apparent in games and doesn't offer any huge FPS advantage particularly in single core optimized games. But it can yield few more FPS in multi core demanding games like GTA 5. And for those looking for the cheapest way to get best gaming and overall PC experience will be better off with the i3-6100. It matches the 6400 with its 1 GHz speed advantage and strong single core performance which is highly required in most scenarios. It's powerful enough for a home PC that will be used for web browsing, occasional encoding jobs, especially gaming and won't seriously bottleneck in any of these tasks. If you still need an iFace CPU, then I strongly suggest you to save some money and get at least an i5-6600 to enjoy the true benefits of 4 cores and better performance in all tasks than the i3-6100. As of now, i3-6100 remains the best option that it's a sweet spot in terms of price and performance. Thanks for watching.